Ethiopians have reacted with overwhelming excitement at the news that Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has been awarded the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize by the Norwegian Nobel Committee. The Prime Minister says he is thrilled. He was recognized for his efforts to achieve peace and international cooperation, and in particular for resolving the border conflict with neighboring Eritrea. Well, who is Abiy Ahmed's win? It's based on these peace initiatives in Eritrea. Let's take a look from Laura Waiubengo. A town in the Gash Barka region of Eritrea. That was at the center of a bitter conflict between Ethiopia and Eritrea. This is the place in the larger Tigrinya region where prominent Ethiopian politicians hail from. They include former Prime Minister Melez Zanawi. The conflict between the two neighbors lasted between May 1998 and June 2000. It left over 70,000 soldiers and civilians dead. Some historians have put the number at 100,000, with civilian deaths accounting for 30% of the total deaths. The Algiers peace agreement signed between the two parties saw Badme placed under Eritrean administration. Ethiopia did not cede ground and the two nations had been technically at war until Abiy Ahmed Ali became Ethiopia's Prime Minister in April 2018. From the ashes of the deadly war, which was the second largest military conflict since the 1977 to 1978 Ogaden War, Ethiopia is emerging as the latest regional mediator. A position that rides in the back of its gallant son, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, who now basks in the glory of a Nobel Peace Prize. When there is peace between the Ethiopian and Eritrean people, the Horn of Africa will become a region of peace and development. Our people who live scattered as refugees in humiliation will come back with dignity. Our citizens will not be sold and exchanged like commodities. The situation between the two countries ran into a deadlock, so it needed that courage somehow to, to, to change the situation, and that's really what happened. And, um, and credit goes to, to the Prime Minister for doing that. The easing of tensions between these two nations had placed Abiy at the apex of peace efforts. Ethiopia and Eritrea now enjoy diplomatic ties that have opened up trade between them. They have also eased cross-border movement of the people of the two countries, citizens who share an identity and culture. The Ethiopian premier had also promised to fully implement the 2000 Algiers peace deal. An Oromo born during the Red Terror regime, the 43-year-old former soldier and activist has seen Ethiopia open up to the world and had political prisoners freed. He has also empowered women, an achievement evidenced by the current president of Ethiopia, who is a woman. The Prime Minister has also sought to ease tensions between his nation and Somalia. Abiy Ahmed also played a leading role in defusing an explosive situation in Sudan that followed the ouster of former President Omar al-Bashir. But his groundbreaking policies and initiatives have not come without a price. With the opening democratic space, Ethiopia has witnessed tension within its borders as some ethnic communities call for more representation through creation of their own states. As a result of this, there's been an attempt on Abiy Ahmed's life, clashes between protesters and security forces, and a coup attempt in Amhara state. But in this win, Ethiopia now joins a list of few African countries that have produced Nobel laureates. Based on his charisma and diplomatic charm, the Nobel Peace Prize now gives Abi Ahmed a reason to be one of the few leading peace negotiators in the region and in Africa. For Badme and the people of Eritrea, it is a moment to share in the magnificence of the Nobel Peace Prize of Ethiopia. Laura Walubengo, CGTN.